So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy Ellen. I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. And uh, it's that time. That's right. It's time for paranormal activity, baby. Scary hours. So before we get into the video, man, I need everybody, each and every one of you, to make sure your doors is locked, your windows is secure, the whole place is secure, all right? And we about to check out these scary videos are a complete mystery, all right? So if you're new, hit that subscribe button, join the fam, all right? And you asked for it. So let's get spooky, baby. Here we go. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slap Tam. The following bizarre mysteries are sure to freak you out. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more scary content. Just like this. A cozy night on the couch in front of the TV is always better with company. However, if you have a situation like YouTuber Lindsay Mann has recorded for her viewers, you might end up thinking you were better off alone. Take a look at what's been captured. Watching that again, a few seconds into the clip, one of the doors on... And I look just like y'all to look at the knob to see if it had a string on it. I don't see no string whatsoever. The cabinet begins to move. It eventually swings open, seemingly all on its own. At that point, you'd have seen my phone drop down to the ground because I'd, I'd have ran off and left. <laughs> like, you'd have seen my phone hit the ground. Y'all have been staring at the floor. According to the YouTuber, there was no one else at home when this footage was recorded. They get up for a closer look at the open door, showing us that there's no strings or other bits of trickery that could have caused the door to open on its own. They close the door and the footage ends shortly after. And then you just sitting there on your couch, you're like, hmm, that's random. <laughs> that, mm, what? Hmm, that's random. The video description tells us that the reason the footage ends is because the iPad on which the clip is being recorded inexplicably turned itself off. Judging by the original title of the clip, the OP believes this could be the work of a poltergeist. A type of spirit that many paranormal investigators believe has the ability to interact with the physical world. The fact that the iPad suddenly turned itself off has some viewers suggesting that this particular spirit prefers not to be recorded. You think? There are a lot of things that can disrupt a peaceful night's sleep. Cars outside, pets, maybe even a bad dream. In this video from Instagram account Paranoid Normal, we see something very different keeping a young girl from a good night's rest. The footage starts with a young girl standing in the background while an older boy, perhaps her older brother, sets up a camera in the corner of her bedroom. The fact that they're even setting up a camera suggests that something odd has happened in this room before. Definitely. The boy turns off the light and leaves the room as the young girl gets into bed. And it doesn't take long for us to see why they've set up the camera. Take a look. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta go back and check the time what it was in the beginning. So, all right, this started about, let's see, 12 24 in the morning, looks like. Turns off the light and leaves the room as the young girl gets into bed. And it doesn't take long for us to see why they've set up the camera. Take a look. All right, now it's 1.51 a.m. As you can see, the blanket is suddenly ripped off the bed and flung across the room.
A moment later, things get even more terrifying when the girl starts to slowly slip from the bed, almost as if someone's dragging her by the feet. Surprisingly, she manages to sleep through all of it. It's only when a piece of clothing is pulled down from a chair that she finally wakes up, looking around the room in confusion. I consider myself a hard sleeper, bro. But if somebody pulled me out of bed, I'm, I'm waking up. You know what I mean? <laughs> now the cover pulling off of me, I might not have woke up for that. But you pulling me out of bed? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm up. I'm up. The comment section was quite divided on this piece of footage. A lot of people called it staged, thinking that the camera setup is just too convenient. While others believe the camera was indeed placed in the room to document anything strange that might occur. Some went as far as to call this a demonic presence, one with an unnerving fascination with this little girl. Okay, so let's just say it is demonic presence or what it was. Where was it taking her would be my concern too. Like it was pulling you out of the bed, like it was taking you somewhere. Where? So where do you sit on this? Hoax or something far more sinister? Drop your theories in the comment section down below. And then, also, her, like, her wake up was a little too calm for me. How many of y'all would have woke up hysterical? You know what I mean? You're on the floor now. Jacket just fell. Cover's gone. Like, yeah, she was a little too calm for me. This fascinating footage was uploaded to our subreddit by Badger Ordinary. It was captured by their doorbell camera at their home in Van Nuys, California. At first, everything looks still. However, if you look carefully at the sky above the nearby trees, you may notice that there seems to be a light streaking across the sky. The footage is in black and white, so it's impossible to tell exactly what colour this light actually is. Mm -hmm. At first glance, it looks like a meteor, a ball of light followed by a long tail. However, the footage gets really strange when the light begins to suddenly change directions in the sky, jumping from one spot to another. Viewers have suggested a few possibilities, including visiting alien spacecraft or even fairies flying through the sky. A more grounded theory suggested it's nothing more than a bug. One that looks particularly weird due to the low compression rate of the security camera. So it With just, this footage alone. So it just singled out one bug? One bug. I'm, I'm not buying that theory there. You know what I mean? Like, it just singled out one bug that's outside at night and decided that's the one that's going to glow? Nah, I'm not rolling with that one. And it's hard to make any definitive call on what this might be. So for now, all we can do is watch and wonder as this curious light flits about the night sky. Yeah. There are lots of legends and stories that involve mirrors, and they're frequently used in paranormal rituals. This video clip from YouTube user Lee Farrell might give us a hint as to why. According to the YouTuber, they were awoken late at night by a flashing light. They grabbed a flashlight and their camera to document what was happening. Take a look at what they saw. In the mirror, we can see a shadow that resembles a human form. They're home alone, so they have no idea where the shadow could be coming from. Yet every time they move the light across the mirror, the shadow appears.
The shadow isn't perfectly defined, but it definitely seems to have the shape of a person. The YouTuber shines the light around the room, showing us that there's no one else around. Whatever's causing the shadow seems to only exist in the mirror. Some believe that mirrors can be used as portals to other worlds. The occult practice of scrying, which goes back thousands of years, often uses reflective surfaces as a means of divination or fortune telling. Catoptromancy is a subclass of scrying that utilises mirrors specifically as a means to connect with the supernatural. Ancient Roman priests often used this practice to try and connect with spirits, angels, demons and energies from other worlds. So is this freaky shadow a glimpse at the supernatural, or is it all just a pareidolic illusion? We'll leave that up to you to decide. Self-driving cars are probably going to be the future of transport. Oh, no, don't do it. Don't do it to us. <laughs> don't do it to us. Y'all know how, how, man, how much I'm, I'm feeling these new self-driving vehicles, man. Don't mess it up for me, please. Tation, ...with multiple companies working on pioneering the technology. However, you might not want to get into a self-driving vehicle like the one in this footage from TikToker Nil Talar. The video shows a somewhat busy road in the Philippines. Nothing is amiss until this happens. Take a look. A large blue tricycle pulls out into the road. Thankfully, there's no traffic because the tricycle heads right across all the lanes weaving around in multiple directions before pulling over on the other side of the road. What makes this footage so strange, if you look closely, you'll see that there's no driver at all. The tricycle is completely empty from beginning to end, even though it's clearly being steered across the road. It's like it parked itself. Did you like see that at the end? It's like it parked itself. Women who witnessed the entire event point at the tricycle after it stops, running to the building where it was originally parked. Some commenters thought the vehicle may have accidentally slipped into gear and the uneven road caused the bike to swerve and change direction. A strange amount of commenters. Nah, bro, that, that movement just ain't normal. <laughs> Look at how. Come on, man. This, this. Some commenters thought the vehicle may have accidentally slipped into gear and the uneven road caused Down. the bike to swerve and change direction. Turn. Another turn. A strange amount of commenters said. And stop. If you had navigation in that thing, it'd be like, destination. It was just a remote controlled tricycle. I've only ever seen toy cars being remotely controlled and not a vehicle of this size. And even if it were, it seems reckless to steer it onto a road with potential oncoming traffic. Of course, there were numerous people suggesting it was being manipulated by something paranormal. And then it looks like the way it's sitting is sitting on the incline originally where it was in the beginning. It's, so for it to turn and come that way, then come down, then turn that way, then turn, like, <laughs> that just don't seem like normal movement to me either. A spirit, perhaps even someone who died on this very stretch of road. So they're the possible theories. Let me know which you think is the most plausible in the comment section down below. Are Ouija boards really a method for contacting the dead, or are they just harmless toys? 
That's been the question many have asked since the idea was first patented by businessman Elijah Bond in 1890. Prior to this, spiritualists in the United States used talking boards, a sort of precursor to modern Ouija boards, as a means of allegedly contacting the dead. At the time, Catholics warned against the practice of using the boards because they believed it could lead to demonic possession. Since then, Ouija boards have become a tool of folklore and urban legend, with many users genuinely believing that they can be used to contact the dead. With all this in mind, a curious piece of footage was sent to us by one of our viewers who goes by the Reddit username DecentExit1840. The footage shows a Ouija board resting on a bed with a few dolls and other toys. No one's touching the board, yet weird things begin to happen. Take a look. The planchette begins to move. It moves very slowly, not seeming to point at any of the letters or numbers on the board. The it looks like to me it's pointing towards goodbye. <laughs> and what's your interpretation of goodbye? Something might be about to happen to you, possibly? Onam picks up the board and the planchette to show that there's nothing underneath it that could be making them move. I mean, there is nothing. Look. There's nothing around this thing. As soon as they put it back down, the planchette continues to move. I'm not bumping the bed or nothing. Several viewers have pointed out that the planchette seems to be pointing at... I think he need to get out of there because it's, it's still pointing towards goodbye. Now, that could be goodbye, the game is over, or it can be something else. The dolls on the bed. According to the person who posted the video, the previous owners of both dolls claim they're haunted. The bear is said to be haunted by a six-year-old boy named Matthew. The previous owner of the other doll stated that its shawl would often fall off even when no one was around. So the question many commenters are wondering is, could there genuinely be spirits attached to these dolls and are they communicating their presence through the Ouija board? According to the Redditor, this board is an older model from the 1950s that they found in a dumpster. Allegedly, it was still in its box, practically unused. Some viewers have suggested that the original owner may have disposed of the board because they had already had terrifying experiences with it. So what do you think's going on here then? How is the planchette moving all on its own? And also, how do you feel about Ouija boards in general? Are they really a means of contacting the dead? If you know your doll could possibly, the, the dolls you have could possibly be um, possessed, Something's wrong. And then you sit this board beside it and it starts going on by itself. I think you just answered your own question, fam. That's that's just me. Before we take a look at an intense encounter in someone's home, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. Yeah. This footage uploaded by TikToker Highly Suggested has been freaking viewers out. Take a look at what's been causing the commotion. Watching that again, the f it's my second time seeing this clip and I still don't like it, bro. It still like creeps me out, man. And the intensity of them, whatever's pulling the door, bro. It's not like a, a little draft or whatever. No, no, just look, feel the intensity of the second time around. Watching that. Can you imagine that echoing through your quiet house? Again, the footage begins in the middle of the action. It sounds like someone on the other side of the door is knocking or jiggling the handle. Oh my God. 
The person behind the camera walks over and quickly pulls the door open. Eerily, there's no one there. It almost sounds like someone runs past as more knocking can be heard from behind them. They turn around and walk to the other white door and fling it open. This time it's the pantry and once again, there's no one there. The process repeats itself as more noise comes from the basement door just moments later. As they investigate the sounds once again, we hear a baby begin to cry, clearly disturbed by what's happening. Come on, buddy. Yeah, you can go. Right. Many viewers suggested that the homeowner get the house blessed by a priest, as they believe the activity to be demonic in nature. Some commenters joked that the homeowner must regret playing around with the Ouija board from the night before. Unfortunately, this brief clip is all we have to run with. There's no info on where or when this video was filmed, so it's hard to dig deeper into the event. So until more info becomes available, this freaky encounter will have to remain a complete mystery. Yeah, at that point you gotta take your kid and just get out, fam. You don't wanna subject your kid to that. You don't know what's going on. Things could get worse and escalate. You gotta get them out of there. was just that that was loud that was rough okay. on, yeah. now if you want some more un yeah man prayers to that family bro like that just feels bad feels eerie weird creepy all of that prayers to him and his his kid fam Hopefully they they got their stuff out and they're right, uh, in a position to move. Because a lot of times we be I be like you know just get out of there, move away. And sometimes people aren't in a position to do so, man. So I have to take that into consideration, man. But I hope I hope the family and people is just able to rally around them and get them out of there. That just that, yeah that seemed freaky, freaky. So it felt like how hard whatever that was was just yanking at that door. Man, be, and they said it possibly playing with the Ouija board the night before, man. Leave these Ouija boards alone. Leave them alone, man. Especially the one dude pointing at saying goodbye. Yeah, nah. Nope, I'm done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm done. But uh, yeah, man, y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of this video. These scary videos are a complete mystery. And he got that right. All right, so it's your boy L. Y'all stick around and stay tuned. So the next one, I'm gone. Peace.